Today, we will construct the Lewis structure for cyanogen bromide. First, let's figure out how many valence electrons we have total in this molecule. So bromine is a halogen found in group 17, so 7 valence, carbon is found in group 14, plus 4 valence, plus 5 valence for nitrogen because it is found in group 15, that is 16 total valence electrons. So that is our supply in this formula. This formula lets us know how many bonds will be in this molecule. So what is our electron demand? Well, we want each of these atoms to have an octet. So it's eight electrons around here, eight electrons around here, and eight electrons around here. So our electron demand will be 24, eight times three. Minus our supply, which is 16. We'll divide that by two. We'll find out it's eight divided by two, which is four. Now I know that nitrogen likes to form triple bonds, so we're gonna do that first and leave our last bond between the bromine and the carbon. So one, two, three, four, and four bonds. So let's place our remaining valence electrons around the atoms. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, which checks out. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. So that's good. Let's check our formal charges. Bromine has seven valence electrons. We have two, four, six non-bonding electrons, plus our number of bonds, we have one single bond, so seven minus seven equals zero. So that's good. So we have four valence around carbon. We have zero bonding, non-bonding, zero non-bonding, <laughs> and one, two, three, four number of bonds. So zero plus four is four, four minus four is zero. Nitrogen has five valence, Subtract that by two non-bonding and three bonds, or a triple bond, five minus five is zero. So there's zero, zero, zero formal charges. That's the best molecule, so this would be your answer. But what if we didn't know that nitrogen likes to form triple bonds? Let's do it if we had a double bond between nitrogen and double bond between carbon. So let me just go back. Do, 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 do. All right, so double bond between these, and we'll see why this is not as good as the first structure I drew. I drew. Place our remaining valence electrons around the atom. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, checks out. Two, four, six, eight, yep. Two, four, six, eight, yep. Two, four, six, eight, yep. So that's good. However, we'll see that the formal charges are not good and we'll have a separation of charges. So we have seven valence minus four non-bonding plus two bonds. Seven minus six is one. That looks like a two, probably shouldn't do that. Let's just do a plus charge because that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a plus one. So carbon has four valence minus zero non-bonding plus four bonds, and that's zero, so good. That checks out pretty nice. Nitrogen has five valence minus four non-bonding plus two bonds. Four plus two is six, five minus six is negative one, so it's gonna be a negative sign here. So we'll have a positive here and a negative there. That would cancel out, give us a neutral molecule, but we have separation of charges, and anytime we have that, we always wanna go with our molecule with the with the zero formal charge. So our first molecule had a zero formal charge on each atom, which is our best bet. So this would not be the Lewis structure.